Okay, solving inequalities. So let's do a really quick review. Ollie, you can get a piece of paper out and take notes. I mean, I think it's going to be hard to type this in a computer. Inequalities. Remember, these things are inequalities. Greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. These are what are inequalities. So we're not going to have an equal sign today. Instead of an equal sign, we're going to have an inequality sign. Greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Remember that it opens up. The alligator eats the bigger value. Yes, that's how we read it. But when we're solving an inequality today, we're going to treat it just like it's an equal sign. Like it's, it's in place of. Instead of saying at the end, x equals 10, it's going to say x is greater than 10. So it's every number that is greater than 10. So 10.1, 10.2, 40, 1 million. All of those are answers. So an inequality has infinite answers, right? So we write it using one of these symbols saying that any of those numbers that fit that situation work. So we treat it just like it's an equal sign. When we're solving an inequality, we still need to ask ourselves to simplify first. And when we simplify, the first thing we do is to distribute if there are parentheses. You might not have to distribute. We ask ourselves, do we need to simplify? And the answer could be yes or it could be no. We don't need to distribute. After you ask yourself about distributing, you're going to ask, do I need to combine like terms? Which, again, is the same thing we do if it was an equal sign. Today, we just have an inequality instead of an equal sign. But it's not going to change the outcome of the problem. So first I say, do I need to simplify? You could say yes, you could say no. Then I ask myself, do I need to move the smaller variable? And you could say yes or no. Then we're going to move the constant. And what is a constant? The number, the number that's by itself, the number that does not have a variable with it. It's the plus or minus number. It's the lonely number, right? I mean, it's the however you think of it. And then you move the coefficient. And here's the new thing. You move the coefficient, but this is the new piece. When you move the coefficient, you need to be super aware if it's a positive coefficient or a negative coefficient. If you're multiplying or dividing by a negative value, when you move that coefficient, if the number you're moving is negative, it stays negative, correct? Like if it says negative 2x, is greater than 10, how would you move this? You divide by negative 2, right? Do you agree? It stays negative when you move it, yes? Sometimes we drop that. But here's the deal. If the coefficient is negative. 
if the coefficient is negative. Flip the sign. A greater than becomes a less than. Or a less than or equal to becomes a greater than or equal to. If the coefficient is negative, you have to flip the sign. I'm going to show you why real quick. If the coefficient is negative, you have to flip the sign. So let's do one that's positive real quick. If my coefficient was positive, like 2x is greater than 40, if I divide by 2, what does that tell me? x is greater than 20. Do you agree with that? So that means if I pick a number that's greater than 20 and put it in for x, my solution will be greater than 40, correct? So someone pick a number that's greater than 20. Pick a number. Joseph, what's greater than 20? A billion. Something I can type easily. 1,000. 1,000. So I'm going to type in 2 times 1,000, and I should have an answer that's greater than 40. Do I? Yes. So let's try this. Negative 2x is greater than 75. Let's throw a decimal in there just to be crazy. If I divide by negative 2 but I don't flip my symbol, what's negative or 75 divided by negative 2? All right, so tell me a number that's bigger than negative 37 and a half. It's negative, so think about it. What's a number that's bigger, greater than negative 37 and a half, Ollie? Negative 7. Negative 7. So if I put in a number here, negative 2 is greater than negative 7, I should get a number, an answer, that is greater than 75. Do you agree? And if I do it, is that greater than 75? No. no. So that's why when we divide by a negative value, we have to flip the sign. So you're telling me now, because I had to flip my sign because I divided by a negative value, my coefficient was negative, now it reads x is less than negative 37 and a half. Jaden, can you tell me a number that's less than negative 37 and a half? Negative 50. So I'm going to type that in. Negative 2 times negative 50. And I should get a value that's greater than 75. Did I? So you have to flip your sign because that negative changes the information, correct? So when you have a coefficient that is negative, you have to flip your sign over. That's the new part. That's all it is. Let's do some practice. Try this one. 24, or no, that's not what it says. 2x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 24. Two X plus four is greater than or equal to twenty-four. So I ask myself, do I need to simplify, distribute, or combine like terms? No, no, no. Nope. Do I need to move the smaller variable? No. Nope. Now I need to move the constant. Is there a constant to move? Two X is greater than or equal to 20. And then last but not least, do I need to move the coefficient? Yes. 
I'm going to divide by 2, which is a positive, not a negative, so I don't need to worry about flipping. So x is greater than or equal to 10. Could the solution to this problem be 10? Yeah. Could it be 11? Yeah. Could it be 44? Yeah. Could it be 8? No. 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 It has to be a number greater than 10, or because it has that equal sign, it could be equal to 10. Let's do another one. Um, negative four. <laughs> Oops, I wrote that wrong. Negative four times negative four plus x is greater than 56. Negative four times negative four plus x is greater than 56. All right, so you need to go through the, the questions that you have to ask yourself. Do you need to distribute? I do need to distribute. So negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Negative 4 times 1x, right, is negative 4x, is greater than 56. I needed to distribute. Now I do I need to combine like terms? No, not really. Do I need to move a constant? Is there a lonely, sad little number? What is it? 16. 16. So I'm going to move it by doing the inverse, minus 16. Negative 4x is greater than 40. Do I need to move a coefficient? I'm going to divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4, meaning it's a negative value, so I have to flip it around. X is less than negative 10. X is less than negative 10. Okay, let's do a couple more just to get a few more under our belt. Let's do Let's go to the other side. Let's do two big ones over here. Big ones? Yeah, yeah. You'll survive. There's already enough Negative eight times one minus three K is less than or equal to four times the quantity one plus seven K. All right, so again, Treat it like it was an equal to problem. Treat it like it's an equal to problem. Do I need to distribute, simplify, distribute? I need to distribute, so negative 8 times 1 is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 3k is uh, positive 24k is less than or equal to, and I have to distribute on this side too, 4 times 1 is 4, 
And four times seven K is 28, positive 28K. Step one is do I need to simplify? So I distributed, now I ask myself, do I need to combine like terms? No. So I move on to step two. Do I need to move the smaller variable? Yes. My smaller variable is 24K, so I'm gonna subtract 24K. Negative eight is less than or equal to four plus four K. Do you agree with my math? Yeah. First step, did I need to distribute? Yes, I did. This time I only had to distribute. I did not need to combine like terms. Then I needed to move my smaller variable. Now I'm on step three, which is move the constant. Is there a constant? Yeah. Which is? This four, not this one, right? The first four, minus four. Negative 12 is less than or equal to 4K. Step one was to simplify. Step two is to move the smaller variable. Step three is to move the constant. Step four is to move the coefficient. A very common mistake right now, ladies and gentlemen, is that people will say negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3 and they'll be like oh there's a negative but why am i not going to flip my sign people will see that negative 3 and they'll be like oh negative i should flip my sign it's not if your answer is negative why sasha <laughs> correct my coefficient the number that i divided by was positive now I'm gonna tell you this, I don't like the way that looks. Negative three is less than or equal to K. I'm gonna flip it around. But when I flip it around, see how the inequality is opening to the K? It needs to open to the K when I flip it around. They mean the same thing. If I told you negative 3 is less than or equal to K, that's the same thing as reading it backwards as K is greater than or equal to negative 3. I'm not flipping the sign in the answer. I'm flipping the entire answer around. Because I like to have my variable first. We know this about me. All right, one more. 5 times n minus 8 oh, no. plus 15 is greater than 5 times n minus 5. 5 times n minus 8 plus 15 is greater than 5 times n minus 5. All right, do I need to simplify? Yes. yes, I do. I need to distribute. Five times N gives me five N. Five times negative eight is negative 40. Plus 15 is greater than, oh, distribute again. Five times N is five N. And five times negative five is negative 25. Do I need to distribute? Yes. Oh, there's another question. Do I need to combine like terms? Yes. Perfect. I have like terms on the left side. Rewriting my problem, I have 5n. What? Minus 25. Perfect. Minus 25 is greater than or equal to 5n minus 25. Stay with me. Stay with me. Step one, distribute. Did we do that? Yeah. And combine like terms. We had to do both of them. Mm -hmm. Step two in our notes is to move the smaller variable. Which one's smaller? Neither. They're both the same, so does it matter which one I move? No. I'm going to minus 5n. K 
cancels out. So I'm left with negative 25 is greater than negative 25. Is that true or false? false? This is a false statement. If this was an equal sign, it would be true, correct? But it's not an equal sign. Or if even if it had an equal underneath it, it would be true. But this right here is a false statement telling me what? No solution. If it was true, if it was just boop, right? It would be a true statement. Well, what would you write? All real numbers. So you can still have a special case even when it comes to an inequality. Yes, ma'am.